skip pan. Seem like the right for the. Uh, I don't think so. I think the ripsaw has all the same problems. Unless you want to go fatigue, but we didn't have any of the pieces for that. Dagger procs with a goober. Yep, that's one thing you can do. We just didn't have the daggers. Like, I think our first dagger was the curse dagger at subclassing. just need to be aware of your divots. Like, if you're playing Torch Reaper, you maybe want to be picking up, like, brooms and mana. Even if they're not improving your board to try to go on healing. Try to all forms of fatigue. You think Potion Belt Chain or change really hurt it? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I think, like, the comps people are playing are also naturally very good into fatigue. Like, Ranger's weapon has built-in empower. That's the sort of stuff that beat fatigue before, too. I also bought a very early Goober. Like, this isn't actually strong on turn two. <laughs> the Torch Ranges are also really scary in general. Like, these boards do actually beat Rangers, or beat Reapers. I had a game last night where opponent was... Six food synergy pan with a healing herbs on turn three. And I just had like two torches and the fight wasn't close. We won with like 25 life left. Why not coal and backpack? You could. Time to get a new game. Well, 
chance to be open to mana stuff. But yeah, this is the annoying part about the Gubert starts. Don't have space to play anything. We also got an egg here. I guess we're just playing the egg. Same board you faced a bit ago. Probably. You run into the same boards a lot in the beta. item in the game to have. <laughs> it builds into a lot of things. It's sort of open-ended in what you do with it. It's just like a fast, low stam weapon. Gives Ranger some options to get some early game scaling, so it actually can build defensive items. the second person to say that, I haven't noticed it. Running out of pixels at the bottom, so it looks like it's talking. Oh, that's what you mean? Oh, yeah, it's just the animation's a bit buggy. <laughs> I'm sure if I like slightly resize my window, it'll be fine. Damage is a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> yeah, 
exactly. It's like plus one damage every attack. Yeah, but if you get lucky, then it's more than plus one damage every attack. I... <laughs> to be fair, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm just pressing the roll button. Um... Accepting that we're probably gonna die. Some regen would be nice. The triple weapon reaper boards, they're kind of tanky. You just gotta find ways to scale the damage. I guess by that reasoning, I shouldn't pick up the blood amulet. I guess blood giver is damage. As long as we can find regen. Regen? Luck is probably more valuable than this anyway. <laughs> I don't think I can sell three things. But if we live... If we live... Chonkin' time. It's also Space Reaper time. Oh, I might also just be dead. That's unfortunately possible. Nope, we're good, we're good, we're good. So we definitely want this in the bag now. It's like the only playable Reaper bag. Uh... I think that's true. I don't know. It's still early. People are gonna find stuff as they play more. Chonk, chonk, chonk. <laughs> Dying garlic. 
Oh, yeah. More eggs? <laughs> we could. I think I just want to buy the buckler and find more speed for my chonk. Or... That fixes my heat, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um... Yeah, probably. Let me do that. Another incomplete board. Arrow Hunger Blades. Hmm. Well, they have been chonked. We don't need this. We're already capped. Another potion could be cool. A little bit more heat, or whatever that matters. Chonking. Yeah, survival would be good. Pops. Not gonna lock a full price shield of Valor. Not a great turn. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I'm better with the blood goob. Also way faster. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, no. It's more vamp. Which is more life, more goob drains. Sure. This might actually trigger <laughs> for fatigue. This is a very fast blueberry. If I can sell anything to grab another chip amethyst. I don't think so. I think we just go. It's burning coal do. It gets us heat after three seconds. Oh wait, is this I had an extra fanny pack this whole time? Huh. 
Interesting. <laughs> I did not realize. <laughs> A little late. Uh, we can just do this and then start getting... Super fast. Pick up some more books. And Chunk generate more heat with coal inside him. You just care about the start of the fight breakpoint. You want the Chunk stunning as fast as possible. And right now we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're just guaranteed to have our ten heat at three seconds when the burning coal triggers. I guess maybe this is fast enough that we could. By the time the coal triggers, as long as we have the one coal, we might not need both. A 10 by your second chunk attack. By my third, right? But like, chunk might attack three times. Yeah, sure. Charizard. I don't think that does anything. Uh, we can slow our opponent down. Healing amp's pretty good. We can light another coal on fire. We're better! <sighs> they almost stunlocked me out. Yeah, but I stunlocked them out first. That's what the mirror is, right? Just like whoever stunlocks first. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Good fight. I guess if chunks are really common, just having base helm is good to avoid getting stunned. Has two trunks. We 
guts to unlock first. That was really close. Like, with the speed we have, we basically have two trunks. Coffin diff? Maybe. Yeah, the poison did add up. You're either removing buffs or you're trying to apply chill. I think I'm okay with removing buffs. <laughs> when does the diminishing returns kick in? Never. Never. Surely never. Chonked and blind. Two hats. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the mirror breaker. Yeah, also the sapphire. Cancels out my heat. Often sex poison fast. It does, yeah. Hmm. I guess if the mirror is prevalent, that's probably something you have to consider. Hmm. Uh, probably a little of both. A little of both. Dagger. Yeah. Dagger's really big here, too. Dagger's definitely the better version of the build long term. But I think the lifter is a lot better at keeping you alive. And that's probably more important. Chill counters the heat stacking. Uh, kinda. Dagger doesn't apply that much chill. I that would not be the thing that makes me want to go curse dagger. Yeah, the chill's coming from the gems and the dragons. Mostly the gems. But yeah, we're like behind on weapons, behind on gems. Books also just don't really matter in the mirror. Like when you think about it, when you're trying to stun your opponent with chonks, you are getting less value out of books than most comps. Because you're wasting some portion of this invulnerability while they're stunned. So dropping a bunch of- yeah, like, the gems are nuts. This is very hard to beat. Oh, I 
also get big poison from this flawed emerald too. Effect cold isn't yeah, I mean artifact stone cold is insane with anything that attacks fast. 